Capricorn and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome to my returning Cappies. Welcome back my loves. So Capricorn, I know it's been a hot minute, but you guys, this is going to be um, your March collective reading. I'm doing them ahead of time. So um, please keep in mind Capricorn that this reading will not resonate with every single Capricorn. So please check the other placements in your natal chart, right? As they do play a factor. Without further delay, we're going to hop right into these spirit messages, okay? <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for being here. If you would be so kind, Capricorn, as to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you can be notified anytime I post new content. Also, anyone who would like to book a full personal reading with me, I will list the description down in the description box of how to go to my website and book your personal reading there. All right. I do have a 48 hour turnaround time. So just keep that in mind as I'm busy with school and other things and work. Not, not me tearing up the day, you guys. All right. All right. Spirit, let's just see what we have for Capricorn. For March, we have masquerade, falsehood, disguise, pretend, or hidden. Be careful of who you're dealing with, Capricorn. This person could be pretending to be one way, and you may find out it's a different story, okay? So just be aware that someone you're dealing with could be wearing a mask. They could be pretending to be one way when they're around you, but totally different when they're in another group of people or another setting. For some of you guys, this could be like a close friend. Or relative possibly even as a partner romantic partner or love interest um, they could have a hidden agenda um, hate to be the bearer of bad news but it is what it is and the spirit said what they said so be aware of someone being fake with you not really keeping it 100 with you Capricorn not being honest and, and you know forthright and forthcoming about what their intentions are towards you but always remember to trust your good listen to your intuition and pay attention to what's being shown to you not just what's being said to you it's like you have to have that balance of the two you know what I mean Yeah, look, we have poison apple, karmic toxic, unfavorable outcome. This person really could do you dirty, Capricorn, if you don't pay attention and you don't heed the red flags that Spirit's giving you. Pay attention to the signs um, that Spirit gives you because Spirit gives us signs in so many ways, right? It's not just angel numbers, 11, 11, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. No, Spirit gives us signs. Someone's lack of interest, someone's lack of communication, their disrespectful behavior towards you, those are all signs. They're always frustrated or aggravated or after every conversation you feel energetically drained. Those are signs, Capricorn. Pay attention to them. We have fertility. We have baby creation, birth of a new. So there could be something, a project that you guys are maybe starting coming up in march some of you guys may find out that you're expecting if that's the case congratulations capricorn um also this could be a warning for those of you guys who are not trying to get pregnant to wrap it up okay wrap it up use protection do whatever you got to do spirit said <laughs> oh we have luck good fortune and unexpected outcome Okay, so blessings are going to be coming you guys' way come through March. This is so funny because this always reminds me of the leprechauns. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Like, all of your hard work is going to pay off Capricorn. So, don't give up. Stay consistent with what you've been doing, okay? We also have true love because that came out. So, some of you guys will be meeting um, your divine counterpart somewhere between now and March. You might really be finding out that this person is truly meant to be in your life. Um, and it could be someone new with this fertility here because fertility can also be a symbol of starting something new as well. So it could be a new love interest coming in and you may find that you guys basically just get along so well that uh, you end up making it official. We have time. Experience life. Don't let it pass you by. Yes, Capricorn. Don't don't be so rigid. Don't be so like 
set and stuck in your ways. Be willing to um, experience new things in life because life is so short. We do not know how much time we have on this earth. Someone can get sick. Someone can pass away, have a terminal illness, anything. You need to enjoy life. Work is important because I know you guys are workaholics, Capricorn. I mean, that's what you guys are best known for is making that money, getting that paper. But baby, there's more to life than money. Money, money is necessary, absolutely. But so is time spent with the people that you love, with true love here, your soulmates, um, your person, your children, your close family, great grandparents, grandparents, parents. You know, those important relationships matter as well. So Spirit wants to remind you guys of that going into March. So some of you guys may be, I feel like somebody might be attending a baby shower come maybe March or even April. That's a possibility. We have growth. Um, this is really beautiful because some of you guys are really starting to take accountability for where you've been in your life. Capricorn, and I love this so much for you because you've been doing the work. You've been doing the shadow work. You've been working on your healing and growth. And um, it's going to pay off. It says physical and spiritual nourishment. Yeah, feeding your spirit with things um, that are healthy, that are positive, that are uplifting, that are in alignment with what you're looking for. That's what spirit says you should do. Um, and continue to focus on your healing. Continue to focus on your growth and moving forward and learning from past mistakes so that you can continue to grow moving forward. Okay? Nature, we have ground yourself, rest, and rejuvenate at the bottom of the deck. So Spirit says, just a reminder, right, to get grounded. Um, don't allow other people to project their stresses onto you because they will, listen, they will do it. If you let them do it, they will do it. Don't let them do it, Capricorn. You don't need to take on anybody else's dress. You have enough of your own, okay? So let's get into some tarot messages real quick. I'm going to I'm also going to say this is from February to March. So this re this reading may resonate now or it may resonate more so as March comes in because we're already halfway through February. February flew through. And um I personally had to get adjusted with my new schedule between school and work and so doing collective readings has been on my list of things to do. I just haven't sat down and done it. So I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to do so this morning. So let's get it. We have, ooh, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Okay, so some of you guys may be um, working on something like a project, maybe at work. But also you guys are trying to build something solid from the ground up, Capricorn, with someone. Um, if you're in a relationship, be mindful that this could be indicative of a third-party situation. Some of you guys are in a third-party situation and may not know it. So be mindful of that. But there is somebody for some of you guys that wants to build with you. Um, we have the Seven of Cups. Spirit is saying if you're in a third party situation, if this message resonates with you and you find out that there's somebody else that they got on the side, Spirit says just know um, that you two have options, okay? They're not the only person that has options, Capricorn. Keep in mind that you always have other options. You don't have to settle for less than what you deserve. You don't have to settle for being second best or second place. As you should not. Death. Yeah. Quickly in situations to where you're being put on hold as a placeholder for somebody else that they really want to be with. Um, they're wasting your time. Like I said, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the red flags, Capricorn. <clears throat> also, like you guys are going through a transformation with the death card. You guys are outgrowing um, old patterns of behavior, old cycles, karmic cycles, closing them out. Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody, look, yeah, somebody is on some BS, Capricorn. Somebody is on some BS from now going into March. So be aware of it. Be aware of it. Um, Cross Watchers, if you deal with a Capricorn, this could be their energy as well. They could have somebody um, else. They could have other options, other options in regards to love. The moon is about... Um, hidden secrets, things done in the dark, being revealed, brought into the light. Spirit is saying it's going to be revealed. Whatever it is that's hidden, the hidden agendas, the hidden motives, it's going to be revealed. Okay? Also, this could be a sign from the universe saying no, because the moon is no in tarot. So Spirit may be telling you guys no about a particular person because... 
spirit is already aware of this person's motives and intentions towards you that it's not healthy and it's not going to last long with this death card. So keep that in mind. You want my card, spirit. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Spirit's advice for you guys, Capricorn, um, going into March, is that it's best to focus on you your career, your goals, stay focused and stay determined to put in the work because baby, the hard work will pay off, okay? So, you guys, that's been your collective reading from now going through March. Let me know down in the comment section, Capricorn, whether you are a December Cappy or a January Cappy, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, peace out.